So finally feeling a little bit better here. So I'm gonna try to do a video. And uh, Pliskin, I do have your package. Well, I'm gonna get it ready. I just didn't want to, <coughs> I don't mind sending ammo through the mail. I just didn't want to send viruses through the mail. So that'll go out soon. Today, I was helping out the local library again, getting rid of some old data. We're gonna see what John Stewart thinks. I know he's very pro-gun. We're gonna see which handgun cartridge is works about the best. I found that books usually work pretty good for testing because you can get penetration and it kind of destroys a bullet too. So we got 22, you got a 32, and then you got an armor piercing 32. Then you got nine millimeter, that's a tracer, I have regular ones. A 10 millimeter, uh 22 mag, a 5.7, 38 special, 357 mag, and then the good old 500 magnum. So let's get set up. Okay, I'm gonna try to run through these pretty quick. This is a 22 LR. Okay, she stopped in the first book on chapter burning. <laughs> right there it is. See? Oh, yeah. See, I mean, it really destroyed the bullet. And went through 368 pages. Pretty good. Three, we'll go 369. Okay, next up, we got a 32 ACP. First one's full metal jacket. The second one is an armor piercing round. And let's see what they do. Put one up here so good okay it looks like so they both went through a full book into the second book which is pretty impressive for a 32 right in the cover <laughs> discarded <laughs> it's a uh, regular full metal jacket and i just see the no the arm piercing went through more i mean it should have but usually with a 32 they just don't have enough power here let, let me uh all right here maybe there it is oh, that's pretty cool just sitting right there went through 75 so one full book and then 75 on that one so went through 75 more pages the armor piercing round okay next up we got a 22 magnum i'll go by a red guy here 22 mag man she's on the more he thought about it the angrier he got Good chapter. Dude, she's still trucking. 178. Wow. Jeez. Dude, 22 mag, man. Holy hell. Okay. Still. Oh, oh, there it is. 307. So I went through one book and then 307. They say these books work pretty good for testing. You can see how deformed it is, but. So, yeah. Okay, next up, we just did a 22 mag. We're going to do the 5.7. Let's see if it does better than a 22 mag. Let's go over here. So she almost went through two full books. Oh, right there in the very back. Right in the very back. Jonathan, he stopped it. It's Jonathan is bulletproof. Discarded. <laughs> there it is, 5.7, man. So stopped in the very back cover. <laughs> Okay, next up we got some 9mm, 124 grain, and then we also have a tracer in the back there. Full metal jacket. And then we'll put the tracer up here. Smoking. Come on, watch that catch fire now. Okay, one of them made it through. Probably a full metal jacket made it into the third book here. Oh no, the tracer did. Look, it's burned. Actually, no, they both did. Yeah, they both went through. There's the tracer. Right, yep. So, page 14, she's still warm. Oh yeah, she's hot. Wow. Dude, I think it's scorching red hot. Look at melted snow. <laughs> and what does this one kind of think it flew out? Nope, there it is. Right there. 284. So we're gonna put another book up. Okay, next up we got a 38 special. I don't know how many grains these actually are. I did a pink lady. It's kinda of hold camera's kinda of in the way, but still got most of it. We can do another shot if need be. So 38 special. <coughs> oh man. Let's try this again. 38 special. Like I said, the camera was kind of, I was kind of holding it, got it in a weird angle there, but 
Oh, some blue stamp in there. My friends. Oh, is it a coupon? Something or another. I don't know. 38 special. Not that special. Almost. I didn't even go through one whole book. So this is a new book. It's kind of tough, but let me see if I can find it here real quick. All right, there it is. So we'll give it this credit here. Went through 380 pages. Not that impressive. But, you know, they work. I almost forgot I got my 10 millimeter too. We got to do that. So there's a full metal jacket. And under there is an the Underwood Extreme Penetrator. Uh, this big old Glock of Zine here. So let's see what it does. Much better angle. So it appears that the full metal jacket got stuck in a third. And John Stewart just missed Extreme Penetrator. Oh, yeah, she's in there. Oh. Dude, I'm, I'm extreme penetrator, 10 millimeter, no joke. Let me crack it open here. So the full metal jacket went through two books and then 502. See, so it deformed. I mean, look how it really hits hard. Extreme penetrator went through. There were 335 then. You know, give or take a few. She held his form good too, man. These things are no joke. They're worth it. Man. That's cool. Next up, we got a 357 Magnum. And let's see what this will do here. Ain't lying about that. A little more oop. Man, while we're here, let's do the other Magnum. This is a 500 Magnum, 350 grain hollow point. A little bit more powerful. Hey, camp, I <laughs> that 500 Magnum, man. You know, I I brought my 45 too. I completely forgot about it. But if anybody really wants to see 45, I can do another video. I completely forgot I had it there and everything. So I think that was 357, 500 Mag. Yeah, both went straight through. And let me sort through this chaos because it looks like that book's untouched. This is awesome. We found a 500 Mag. I don't know. I think that was the last book next to last. Yeah, John Stewart, man. Or what's his fucking ass? Stephen Colbert. <laughs> Look at that, man. That's a 50 caliber. <laughs> Look at the paper still stuck in there. You can actually read the words. I see the S. <laughs> Copyright 195. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. I'm going to keep that for sure. And 357. Because that's that one. I don't think it went through. Must be. I'll see if I can find it. Alright, so here she is. She made it through almost three entire books. John must have been the fourth one there. So, 357 does pretty good too, man. Really splattered out good. More than a 500 mag did. For 500 mag, it probably need to hit something a little bit more solid.